it's Whitney. Today I'm super excited because I'm gonna share with you some of the latest and greatest vegan products out there. These are some of my favorite eco healthy products that you can eat, you can put on your body, you can wear, you can read. So I've got books, I've got chocolate, I have body care, home goods, all sorts of things. I have so many details I wanna share with you that I'll probably be referring to the notes on my phone a few times and I'm gonna be linking to the products and where you can find more info and purchase them if you want down below in the YouTube description field so be sure to check that out. The first company I want to start with is Lotus Way. They make these really special products that I've been using for years but I, they actually just sent me some other products to try that I hadn't had experience with yet. Now Lotus Way makes these blends of flower essences and essential oils. Now I've talked about essential oils in the past if you are unfamiliar with, with those videos you can check them out up below that little letter I and also down below in the YouTube description field. A lot of people don't really know much about flower essences and I think Lotus Way it sums it up really well by saying that it's like extracting the consciousness or the mind of a plant. And if that sounds a little woo-woo to you, maybe it will make more sense if I describe it as aromatherapy. It's, it's inhaling or absorbing directly through your skin uh, oils or essences from these plants. It can just uplift your mood, it can bring up your energy, it can shift your state of mind. So generally it's helpful if you're feeling kind of negative, it can help you feel more positive. You want to put them on your pulse points, typically through your wrists, um, through the back of your neck, on your neck, on your chest, at, on your temples, sometimes under your nose. Each blend differs a little bit. For the past, I think like a year and a half to two years, I've been using these two. These are their serums. The Quiet Mind, I love using this whenever my mind's going a little bit crazy or if I'm gonna go meditate. And Joy Juice, I love to use whenever I need to bring my joyness level up. Maybe I'm feeling a little sad or depressed or having a hard day. The three new products that I tried out are their anointing oil for healing sleep. And this is probably one of the most powerful blends I've ever experienced from this company. I put this on a few nights ago for the first time right before I went to bed and I immediately felt more relaxed and more excited about going to sleep. So now this has become part of my sleep ritual and this comes in like a little roller ball too so it's really nice to put on. What I will put on right now is their inspired action perfume and this actually comes in a little spray bottle and you spray it on just like perfume. You can just put it towards your pulse points and just whoosh it around and it smells really nice. It's hard to describe the smells because there's so much blended in here. I love this little case that it comes in. They have a 10% off coupon if you sign up for their newsletter. And to give you an idea of their product prices, the serums are $50. They last so long. I think I've only gone through a half a bottle in about a year and a half to two years. So it's they're super potent. The anointing oil is $30 and they ship worldwide. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This is from a company called Solid Threads. I'm actually wearing it right now. This is one of their t-shirts. It says tofu the other white meat. And even though I don't eat soy tofu, I love hemp tofu. Have you tried that yet? I'm not gonna talk about that today, but look it up. Living Harvest Hemp Tofu. So good, I'll link to it down below. <laughs> this shirt is, is really cool because they actually will donate 50% of the proceeds to a really neat animal organization called Green Mountain Animal Defenders, that's such a cool name, who are working to protect the well-being of all animals. So you can get this shirt, it's $28 and you're supporting a really good cause, plus it's a fun shirt. And they have other designs too. This is another one that says, that's bananas. People always love this, especially if you're like, high carb, low fat, vegan, 80, 10, 10. This one's $14. They gave me a special code for you guys to use. If you use the eco vegan gal as the code, all one word on their website, they'll give you 10% off. They ship internationally as well. They have a bunch of different designs. Okay, what else do we have next? Chocolate. Yes, I have two different chocolates to share with you. I don't know which one to start with because they're equally delicious. They're both raw, but I guess I'll go with this one. The Pana Chocolate. This is 70% cacao, fig, and wild orange. This is the only flavor that I've tried. It's raw, organic, and handmade, plus no soy, gluten-free, and no refined sugar. The sweetener that they use is coconut nectar. This very unique texture, and the flavors were outrageous. I got this from a party and then when I went on their website 
I realized, I don't know if you can get this in the States. This is an Australian company, so please let me know if you've ever seen this or you come across it after this video. I will link to it down below for all of you international people out there. All right, let's move on to the product, the chocolate that I do know is available in the States, and that is from The Great Unbaked. They make these really delicious raw chocolates, and they sent me three of them. Golden Berry Cherry and the Raspberry Rose, and this is the Mint Chocolate. This is the only one that I have not bitten into yet, so I will unwrap it and show you what it looks like. So they come in like these little bar-sized truffles, and they are so good. They cost about $2.50 per little truffle, which is on the pricier side, but they're very decadent. You can get a box of them for $22 of eight pieces, and they have stores in Oregon, California, and Texas, but they ship all over the states. Their shipping is about $8, so again, it's pricey. If any of you know how to make a great chocolate, let me know, because I've never made a great chocolate, and that's why I buy chocolate, because it just doesn't taste the same when I make it myself. Next up, we have this charcoal facial cleanser from Destiny Boutique, and this stuff is really wonderful. It has the most remarkable texture. I have never tried anything quite like it, and you only need a tiny bit. This is probably gonna last me at least a year. It lathers up so beautifully, it feels great. Made in the US, and it's meant to unclog your pores, remove impurities, remove dead skin cells. It doesn't have any mineral oils, formaldehyde, sulfates, parabens, artificial colors, or fragrances, or any of that scary stuff, as they say. It does look a little bit scary, though. Um, it's jet black, and one of my favorite things about this is that the label is tree free. It's made from stone. No trees are used. That is brilliant. It is a plastic bottle. You can buy it on their website. Let me pull up the details. This costs $15, but they do have a minimum order of 30, so you will definitely want to get a second one or try some of their other products. They also have this in bar form, and they actually sell it on Amazon, so I'll link that below. And on Amazon, it's only $10, so you don't have to do the minimum shipping or anything. I mentioned my bedtime routine while using the Healing Sleep Anointing Oil from Lotus Way. Another thing that I've been using before bed a ton is the Hurrah Lip Balm. This is their Moon Balm. I've been using Hurrah for years. Give a thumbs up if you use them as well, because I think it definitely makes some of the best vegan chapstick lip balm out there. This is extra thick, creamy, and rich. It tastes really good. It's got blue chamomile vanilla flavor. And according to their website, the vanilla and Peru balsam scent will lull you to sleep. I haven't quite felt that effect yet, but I do like putting it on before bed because it keeps my lips extra moisturized. And you can get this on their website or on Amazon. It costs somewhere between like six to eight dollars on Amazon, and I will link to that down below. Mm, I want to put on some right now, actually. You can put this on any time of day, but it's meant for sleep. Next up, the love bottle. I do my very best to reduce the amount of plastic in my life, and one of the things I'm very conscious of is having a bottle with me everywhere I go and keeping it full of water, because I never want to use plastic bottles. I just think they're so unnecessary. And I love stainless steel bottles. I have a whole collection of them. And every once in a while, I'll use a glass bottle. This one is very special to me. It was sent to me from the company. Love Bottle just has this uniqueness that no other glass bottle I've ever seen has had before. I love the design of it. It's very satisfying. It's got this great little cap, and it does that. This one especially has all these positive words, like believe, trust, uh, believe yourself, kiss, hugs, love, family, passion. So when you're picking up this bottle to drink from it, you're also reading these words and it's reminding you to stay more loving and positive with yourself. And I think that's super important. So it kind of ties into the whole message, again, just like with the Lotus Way stuff, is really just creating more positivity and upliftment in your life. It's made in the US. They donate 5% of each bottle to one of three different organizations with they list on their website. These cost between 20 to 20 $25. Um, I don't know if they ship outside of the US. Okay, let's talk about some books. I am a total 
book nerd. I've had the Eco Vegan Gal book club, which you can join if you become part of the Patreon community, which I will link to down below for you to learn more about. I'm reading 20 books about how to get in great shape and balance your body out as part of that uh, new series that I launched for weight loss, weight gain, etc, etc. There are three new books in my life. Number one is the new Thug Kitchen book. This is my first Thug Kitchen book, actually. Don't have a copy of their first book, but I've always been so enamored with their brand, and I recently became friends with Michelle and Matt, who are behind this, and they're such cool people. There's been a lot of cruelness towards them, and I think it's been, a, a cruelness in general is unnecessary. It's written in a very, um, What's the word? Um, I don't know if I want to say vulgar, but you know, they use some language in it, so you gotta be okay with that. But it is such a cool, fun book, all with part vegan party food. So some examples of what's in here. Buffalo lettuce bites, roasted garlic pull apart bread. Uh, every time I see this photo, I drool. The carrot dogs, if, have you ever had a carrot dog before? Let me know in a comment if you have, they're delicious. If you're in LA, there's a place called Fritzy Dog, which makes delicious carrot dogs. And now you can make them at home. There's actually part of the photo shoot. There's one photo in here where you'll see my hand. These are the loaded nachos. If you look really right down at the bottom, you'll see my blue nail. That's me right there. And lastly, I wanted to point out their chocolate almond haystacks, which I don't have a picture of. They served these at their launch party and they are so good. This book is $16 and I'll link to it down below for you. Speaking of beautiful books, Crossroads Kitchen, which is one of the most amazing vegan restaurants um, in the country for sure, but maybe in the world, it is super gourmet. If you've ever felt envious that you haven't been there yet, it's not near you, or you know, it can be a little on the pricier side, this book is a nice way to experience Crossroads. Some of my favorites are the lentil skillet bread. At the restaurant, you can get it with all these different types of vegan pâtés, like leek pâtés. This kale salad is one of the best kale salads I've ever had. The hearts of palm calamari is probably my favorite thing on the whole menu. The artichoke oysters. The cannoli with candied kalamata olives. As you can see, the pictures are just gorgeous. They'll make your mouth water. This would definitely be a great gift, and um, you definitely need to be committed to making these recipes because they're not super quick and easy. They're gonna take a while, but if you're looking to have a great experience, this book is there for you. It costs $21.50 on Amazon right now. The last book I wanted to mention was this one, Vegan Ventures, and like the Thug Kitchen book, you will also see me having a little cameo in here. I was interviewed for this book. It is a collection of top tips from vegan business owners that can help you start and grow an ethical business. It's so cool, Katrina Fox wrote this. She has over 60 business owners, entrepreneurs, and professionals who contributed. And there's all sorts of tips in there for how to figure out the purpose of your business, how to get more media coverage. This honestly would be great for any content creators, bloggers, etc. out there. It is $17. If you haven't checked it out yet, I have the YouTube channel, EVG Venture, which I created years ago so it's kind of a coincidence. I have all sorts of tips on there, free tips for you. Plus, I have something called the Creators Community going. If you are a content creator and you're looking for more support, more tips, you wanna learn how to monetize, you want a community of people that are in similar positions as you, come check that out. I've linked to it down below. It's at WhitneyLauritson.com slash community. I would love to have you there. We meet on a monthly basis. There's all sorts of resources, 24-hour discussions on Google+. It's very cool and all the details are on the website. Two more things for you before we go. One is a recipe. I had one of the best drinks of my entire, do I want to say life? Um, I'm not quite sure. It was incredible though. It, I love making drinks, hot drinks like coffee drinks and smoothies and juices and all that sort of thing. And the other night I really wanted to make some sort of a pumpkin drink, like a pumpkin latte. So I went on to Google and I typed in vegan pumpkin latte. One of the hits was from Oh She Glows. And if you don't know about that website yet, I'd be very surprised because it's, in my opinion, one of the best vegan websites and resources out there. And I really trust Angela who hosts that site or runs that site. The full name of the recipe is the homemade pumpkin spice latte with salted pumpkin spice by syrup. Now the syrup part really got me. I knew I had to try it. I had all the ingredients on hand, so I whipped it up in the kitchen. Took a little while, 
oh, maybe like 15 minutes. And I made this syrup, which was super easy. It was like coconut sugar, maple syrup, pumpkin, of course, and then blend it up with a bunch of spices. And then you just add that to an espresso but I was actually making it late at night, so I used Ticino tea, which is a decaf coffee-like tea beverage. I'll link to it down below. If you've never tried it yet, it's a really nice alternative to coffee. So I used that with the syrup and then some dairy-free milk. It makes this incredibly flavorful, rich, creamy, frothy drink. It's so good, you have to try it and then tell me about it. Hopefully it came out as good as it did for me. One last thing before I go, this has been a jam-packed video. If you haven't seen my East Coast series, that's another great video to watch after this because you'll see even more products and restaurants and some of the favorite things I experienced in the month of September. And one of the things I experienced then was my green fills. I wanted to bring them up just in case you didn't see that because because they make really phenomenal cleaning products for your clothes. So they have laundry detergents, this is their fabric softener, they've got brighteners, stain removers, all of that. I'm not gonna go into all the details here because I already did in that other video, but I just wanted to encourage you to check it out. It's such an amazing, sweet company. I really love their products. I wanna get the word out about them. They actually sponsored that video series, which really helped me create that. Supporting brands like that makes a huge difference. And that's exactly why I do these videos is I want to introduce you to products that are gonna change your life, that are gonna uplift you, that are gonna make being vegan easier, eco-friendly easier, continue supporting this, the small people um, so that we can see changes in this world. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like me to do more favorite videos like this, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Let me know what other categories of products you'd like to see. Tell me about your experiences with any of these products or similar products. Let's keep spreading the word, keep this supportive community feel here. I have the Patreon campaign up and going, so if you're looking for more ways to get involved with Eco Vegan Gal to support the work that I'm doing, please go check it out. There's a video linked up above and in the YouTube description field. I wanna give a shout out to Sean, who's become the executive producer. Please check him out. I've linked to his website down below. He is doing great work all over the web as well. And there's so many outstanding people helping on Patreon. Stay tuned on social media because I'll be doing shout outs and features of them over time. You guys mean the world to me. Thanks one last time and I will see you soon for the next video. Bye.